the diagnosis of cancer is definitely a very big social uh, stigma uh, to the individual and to the family. And unfortunately, at least in community like ours, if son comes to know, he'll be very cautious not telling the mother or the father who actually has cancer. Unlike the West, in which it's mandatory to discuss with the person mm. and try to make them understand what's the, I mean, what goes with the word and what happens beyond this. However, I mean, normally what we try to do is uh, talk to them and introduce the topic and tell them these are the options you have. Mm. Let them th think about it. Tell them to align together and discuss in the family and come back with relevant questions. So introduce it slowly. However, however take it uh, rationally to the next step and tell them that these are the options. And it's not the end. It's not, uh, it does not dictate that this is a death yeah. sentence. I mean, there is life beyond it. Mm -hmm. And there's very reasonable, I mean, very logical treatment, mm -hmm. which has to be, I mean, which has to start from now, from okay. the word go. Okay. And if it is diagnosed early, it's even much more relevant to us. Mm -hmm. And including a significant percentage of patients which can be cured with cancer. It definitely starts with the way you said. I mean, it starts with guilt. Mm -hmm. First thing is, what did I do wrong? Mm -hmm. And do I really have cancer? So there's a state of denial. You want to de uh, deny the fact that you have cancer. Mm -hmm. Would you reconfirm? Do I need to take second opinion on the biopsy slides? Mm -hmm. Do I need to check whether it actually has happened to me? Mm -hmm. And then they'll always come back and say, well, I never did anything wrong in my life. I had a pious life. I never smoked. I never drank. I did what I should have been doing. Mm. Uh, but it happened. So there are certainly there are many things which don't have answers. Actually, mm. 90 for, uh, 80 to 90 percent of cancers don't have any reason behind it. There's no okay. logical association. Although 10 to 20 percent might have a hereditary history or genetic history. They could be association with smoking or alcohol. But quite a few of them don't have any association. So, I mean, acceptance definitely is the most important issue. And once it seeps in them, then there is a phase of anger that I don't want treatment. This is not happening to me. I'm not going to accept the side effects and all. So it has to go through the process until you start accepting it and start going through the phase. See, most important thing is awareness. And uh, uh, I think the purpose of all of us talking is to make them aware. Yes. Getting them uh, at a precancerous state or finding out if one person is at higher risk than the other is probably the most important thing. If at all you actually land up getting cancer, then treating at the right place, treating with the right set of uh, new scientific answers. So you have to get treated right and treated early. These are the things, I mean, we definitely need to spread across. So everybody would have a routine screening recommendation mm -hmm. in which they should do certain set of investigation annually or one in two years. Mm -hmm. And there are certain set of investigation which should be done for high risk individual. Okay. If I am already a smoker, then a certain years uh, later, I need to screen myself for certain things. Uh, if I'm exposed to a certain kind of thing, if I'm, uh, let's say I'm, I have hepatitis B or C, mm -hmm. then I would have to screen myself for certain thing. So mm -hmm. there is a standard risk recommendation for all the population of a certain age and there's a high risk screening in which if you have a strong family history if you have certain precursors some viral exposure or you have some industrial or chemical exposure then you need certain uh, special tests to be done at a regular interval.